Okay, it's initializing. <laughs> it's initializing. Why do you have it so big? So, better to see you, my dear. No, no. Make it little. Okay, we're just waiting for it to initialize. initializing. Okay, it's initializing. Why do you have it so big? <laughs> okay, we're going to wait and make sure that everyone can hear us. If you can hear us, um, if you can post in the chat. Okay, we're just waiting for it to initialize. Okay, it's initializing. Why do you have it so big? I see your sign. Oh, yes, yes. Free smells today only. Yep. Know, yeah. oh. There we go. Just let me out of the way. There we go. We cleaned the office this last, what is today? Monday. Monday. But we cleaned it on uh, Saturday. Saturday. And it was bad. It was really bad. So we cleaned it. <laughs> and we reorganized. We organized a little bit. And you can see the picture behind us. Can you like... Are they seeing us? Yeah, they can see okay. us. I'm um, just going to kind of move the camera wait, wait, wait. up okay. a little bit. See that sign? Isn't that awesome? I made that sign. I did, totally. And then there's another sign. <laughs> and then the ceiling. So, But anyways, that's behind us. Okay, now I've messed the camera up. Oh, I think we've got, we got it right there. Okay. Is that good? I don't know. Okay. Well, okay, yeah, that's fine. Good enough, right? You, just, you have the picture of us, like, really big. Okay, so well, um, let's see. You're throwing me off besides being opposite sides. Oh, the reason I did I that... I know! That threw me off, too! <laughs> I'm like, wait! We're actually, we're actually sitting in the exact same spot that we always sit, but I f mirror flipped the video so that you can actually read the signs behind us. So, um, in the past, our video clips, we're sitting in the same spot that we always sit. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, I guess when you go to bed, you have your side, I have mine, you know. Anyways, we have yes, our same yes, sides, yes. but we just mirror flipped it all so um, that you all can read the signs behind us. So, yeah, um, you, you want a trick to kind of wig out your significant other? Go to bed on their side of the bed. <laughs> they're like, what? Like, <laughs> What's going on? Something's wrong. <laughs> I'm like, um, uh, honey, I'm coming in. <laughs> you need to scoot your boots. <laughs> Ooh, that could have a double meaning. No. Easy now. <laughs> Easy. This is a PG I know. rated call. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. All right. So, um, yeah, you said you can hear us. You can see us. So that's great. That's great. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get started here. Hold on just a second. Okay, so um, I think, well, we've got 45 on now. Um, that's pretty big. I thought we'd maybe have a little bit more, maybe some more still trying to come in. But we're going to go ahead and get started for you guys because we are very excited for tonight's call. Uh, 10 easy steps. Easy to peasy. <laughs> to grow your team. All right, so we kind of started the new year off. Um, ZebraNet, uh, it's been a little... Uh, getting used to the new system and uh, we're getting better at that. You're placing orders. Um, last week when we talked, I uh, mentioned that you need to be in there placing orders in the system and working in the system so that uh, you can be familiar with it and all that kind of stuff. So hopefully you've been doing that and been placing your orders and not holding back because you're scared of the new system. So don't be scared of it. Get in there and work it and uh, go forward. So um, so anyways, tonight's team call, what is today? The, today's uh, January 27th, 2014. Yeah. So, hey everybody, <laughs> welcome to the call. We're going to go ahead and get started now. Um, so, 10 easy tips, all right? So, if I hope you're taking notes, because that's all I have. I have the notes, we have the notes, um, and, uh, you know, we may put this out as a, a document in the, uh, the, the group so that you can see that as a file. But anyways, um, hopefully you're taking notes. And number one, uh, we want to say know the product and the business opportunity. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have to know your product. Mm -hmm. You got to know the Pink Zebra products. And we're coming to the new catalog switchover. And there's going to be a lot of products in there that you don't know yet. And so you're going to have to get familiar with those. So you're either going to be um, purchasing some of those 
maybe some of you go all out and purchase all of them, um, but you're going to be purchasing those, you're going to be reviewing the catalogs whenever you're at your shows and events, you're going to know the names and descriptions of all the new products, you're going to know the new fragrances, you have to know the products. So one of the very first tips that we can say into growing your business is to know your products because what do you do when someone comes up and they say, hey, I need like a floral scent or I need a, um, I like cinnamon smells. I mean, you need to know what to... Uh, do you want to know cinnamon. what I do? Brett! No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> No. No, I don't. do know this fragrances, trust me, yes. But um, another thing I was going to add is use them in your homes. Like, you know, put Gloomer kits together, put them around, use them in your home so that you can have real relatable conversations with your potential customers. Because if you've never put a Glimmer kit together and burned it at home, it's hard for you to realistically tell the customer, well, you do this and this, and I did it, and blah, 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 you know, and all that kind of right. stuff. So use the, products, use the products, which I can't ima imagine anybody not using the products and being a consultant, but, you know, right. use them. Right. Well, Do I tests and things. I remember when we were new, new consultants, and you don't have a lot of money, and the stock and inventory that you have, you're using for shows and displays and all that kind of stuff. I remember thinking man, I really don't want to use that because that's my inventory to sell. I'd rather sell it than use it. But you need to also think that you need to be um, a consumer of the products. You need to be using it. You need to be able to say that it lasts this long. You need to be able to say, this is how you create a glimmer candle, or this is what you do with the simmering lights, and this is what you do with the simmer pots, and you know the, the soap and the lotion and the yeah. reeds and all yeah. that. You need to be able to, to, to describe that to your customers. So make sure you're using the products. Um, tip number two, all right, talk to everyone about the business, about the oh, opportunity. Oh, who are you? <laughs> I'm a pink zebra rep. Oh, what is pink zebra? Well, let me tell you what it is. <laughs> You're goofy. <laughs> Anyways, talk to everyone. So... Um, you're in a restaurant and you see somebody with a uh, pink zebra purse or a zebra print purse or something like that. Um, you need to possibly go up to them, introduce yourself, uh, give a business card, give a sample. Um, just anybody. You're in the drive through of Starbucks, okay? And give that person a, a business card with a sample, okay? Um, drive through at any place. Do the same thing. When you're out um, eating out at restaurants, leave you know, your, your business card with the sample after you sign the ticket, you know, or and a you, uh, brochure. You, yeah. You saw what I did when we went to Texas Roadhouse Just the, the other day. day. Last night. Yeah. Last night, <laughs> you know, it was a BMW and I was so scared that I was going to touch it and the alarm was going to go off. So I barely slipped it in, but you know, and normally I would have a sample attached to that, but I was out of samples. So I, you know, yep. but yeah. So basically, you're, you're talking to everyone that you can um, about the products, um, about the opportunity. So you're, you're sharing, okay? So that's a big deal. Um, so in order for you to share, it kind of goes back on number one. You got to know the products. You got to know the business. So um, you got to be able to talk the talk, all right? So that's number two. Um, number three, you got to offer many ways for people to contact you, okay? Um, not just your team members. We're not talking about your team members. We're talking about potential customers and potential um, potential team members. And so provide multiple ways for them to contact you. So uh, your, your Facebook fan page, you know, your Pink Zebra replicated website, um, YouTube, a blog, um, Craigslist advertising, marketing on Facebook advertising, Google AdWords. Um, there's lots of different ways that you can reach out and provide uh, places for people to go to get information about you and Pink Zebra. So, mm -hmm. um, providing that, yeah. And Did you list this? No, and you want to talk about these? Go ahead. Oh, well, I contributed to that by saying, mailing postcards, mailing, or putting yard signs up in your yard, and car decals. Mm -hmm. I mean, anything that... Uh, anything that's exposure for your business, basically. Yeah. So, yeah. it doesn't have to be all online. Of course, I'm a kind of a tech guy, so I kind of lean that way, but definitely car decals, that'll get you a business, um, or the car magnets on the side of your car, yard signs. Um, I know that some team members have even done garage sales 
and uh, had you know set up a, a little tent and all that kind of stuff and yeah. did pink zebra right there from the garage sale. So mm -hmm. basically anything that uh, you're offering many different ways for people to reach out and find you. So like I, I don't know how many of you have seen the uh, YouTube video of Roxy opening her kit, but that's one way that people find us. Um, another way that people find us is the blog. Another way is by leaving business cards on, you know, cars <laughs> um, yep. or business cards at the table or, um, you know, driving around with the, the decal on the back of the vehicle, things like that. Um, you got to provide ways for them to find you. Okay. Because if you're not doing those kind of things and you're saying, well, I don't have any customers, I don't have any parties, I don't have any sales. Well, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing to get yourself out there? So think of that. Okay, number four, you got to actually ask people to join your team. And we've said this before, right? That uh, you may go through the whole spiel of Pink Zebra is this, Pink Zebra is that, and uh, the opportunity is this, the Heroes program is this, fundraising program is this, and it's a really great business. And then you never ask them to join. Mm -hmm. They may be sitting there thinking, oh, wow, how do I get into this? And you never even said anything. So yeah, you've, true. you've got to ask. You have got to got to ask them. Um, and if they say no, we've talked about this in the past, that if they say no, that doesn't mean no forever. It's just no, not right now. And so keep their um, information, their contact information, and follow up with them. You're skipping on. And, you know, whatever. So, yeah. okay. And, you know, uh, a good example of... You know, well, how do I ask somebody? Will you join my team? I mean, you know, um, you could, like, I know how I say it. I, whenever I'm at an event or anything, I'll say, well, after I do my whole spill and they're looking at the scents and they're loving it and they want to buy everything, you know, then I say, you know, well, I'm always looking for great people to join my team. You know, it is a direct selling business. If I haven't mentioned that already, I'll say that, you know, it's a direct selling business. Would you be interested in some information on joining? You know, and so it's not, it's like, you know, an easy way to say, would you want to become a rep for my team or whatever, pink zebra or whatever. So there's ways that you can word it. And, you know, it's always nice, um, some of us, like myself, that's not really good on the spot talking. I talk kind of slow and all this kind of stuff. Oh, thank you. Anyways, there is absolutely nothing wrong with taking 20, 30 minutes at home and writing out several different blurbs of things that you could say to people, just kind of like preparing what you're going to say. There's nothing wrong with that. So, um, yeah, uh, there's these, come up with your own way, but. There's ways to do it without just being, you know, awkward, I guess. Good job. Thank you. All right. Number five. This is uh, one of my favorite ones. Um, you ready for this one? What is it? Oh. Okay. Number five is... You going to do that? Yeah. Okay. okay. Go ahead. Okay. Shut up! And listen. <laughs> Shut up! You listen. Okay, it's shut up and listen. So you need to just tell yourself, be quiet. Okay, you're talking to somebody and they're maybe interested in hearing about the opportunity and you talk and you talk and you talk and you talk and you, you're not shutting up and they're like information overload. Okay, so <laughs> you need to basically... <laughs> <laughs> you need to basically be quiet and let them process it and ask you questions. So you need to listen. So the number five is shut up and listen. And I do this a lot. Now I have to tell myself, Brett, just shut up, shut up and let them talk, you know, because when they talk, they will sometimes sell themselves on joining. Okay. Now, if they start talking themselves out of it, then of course you may need to kind of intervene and get into their psyche a little bit. But um, for the most part, they, if they're interested, they can talk themselves into it. And all you have to do is give a little bit of nudging and you don't have to do that. Even though in your head, you may be thinking, yes, I've got a consultant. Oh, they're going to sign there. I'm so close. You know, they're very interested and in, you're uh, in, uh, very excited, which you should be. Mm -hmm. But that excitement can lead to you talking and talking and talking so much that it's information overload and they've now tuned out and can't remember what you said. So the best yeah. thing to do is to shut up and listen. Mm -hmm. So 
Yeah. And actually, that's a that's a good piece of advice for life in general, like in marriages. You know, if if I would shut up and listen more, it'd probably be. You're perfect, just the way you are. Oh, thank you. Not hardly, but I try. <laughs> <laughs> you is kind. You is smart. You is important. Yeah, for those of you that uh, this is your first time on uh, the weekly team call, uh, sometimes we refer to this as the uh, Brett and Roxy show. So uh, we, we do get a little bit. I'm Brett. <laughs> I'm Roxy. Okay, continue on. There's people on here to learn. Exactly. Okay, um, let's see if we have any questions real fast. Uh, I'm going to scroll through here and see if we see any questions. If you have a question at any time, uh, don't hesitate to uh, to type it out here. Wait, wait, wait. We can wait, see wait. that. Hello. Wait. Wait, Throwing go back down for a second. What, 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 what? Go back down. What, what, what? Hang on, hang on. Wait, wait. There's nothing. Can I? I know. Okay. Just hang on. Okay, I want to see. Um, if you have a question, go ahead okay. and type it out. I'm looking for. I saw right. Okay, Charlotte. Was, oh, what is this? Oh, well, that's it. <laughs> Charlotte um, Parish. Her yes. sister-in-law from Alaska. From Alaska people, I think she flew. With her. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Here. Yes. She flew in from Alaska to be at the rally. In Oklahoma City. In Oklahoma City. That's, That's awesome. 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 But um, anyway, Charlotte had said her name, and so I was going to say her name, but I can't. I don't know what the post is. Okay. Um, Beth says, do you always have samples on you, Roxy? Yes. She does. And um, you have one of those little pencil cases. It's I like do. a plastic... Um, pencil case like a buck that you get at Walmart or mm -hmm. Target or wherever mm -hmm. um, for kids it's in, in the school sc yeah, in the school in the section and it's just got like a little button clip on it right mm -hmm. um, but Roxy has all her uh, samples and business cards attached to that um, I carry Roxy around so <laughs> that's my samples <laughs> Roxy has the samples and I carry Roxy so <laughs> it's true it's that's true how it works. but yeah don't go anywhere without a sample ever Ever. And like the night, you know, the last night when we went to Texas, it was like, oh, I didn't have a sample. I had a business card, but yeah. Always have samples. Always, always. Okay. okay. Jessica says, that's how I found you on YouTube and Facebook and mm, stuff like that. Yep, yep, yep. Emily says, I need the tech help. Don't know much about it. Uh, we can answer some of that in the, uh, the Facebook group, Emily. Um, let's see. Dawn says, I was at a drive through today and loved the upbeat service, so I complimented her and told her she'd be a great addition to my team. Awesome. Gave her my card and let her keep my change, less than $2. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. I tell you. I need and you never know what will come from that. Nothing, or maybe she'll get a call. You never know. Uh, let's see. Amanda says we should create a doc with response ideas for those of us that are Good slow. idea. Yeah, that's good a good idea. one. Good idea. Um, Carrie's having have, problems with the feed. Uh, okay. No. Uh, let's see. Um, I might have done that. Talk too much. Okay. Hold on. I talk too much. No. Oh. I want some chocolate pie. <laughs> Did you talk? I don't know. B <laughs> BJ's hungry. BJ's wanting chocolate pie right There's now. There's all these posts and then BJ's like, I want a chocolate pie. <laughs> we must have missed something. I want a chocolate pie. Oh, Ashley's excited for the Columbus Rally. We are too, Ashley. <gasps> awesome. I know. This um, Saturday, sorry. Yes. Saturday, we're flying in Friday. Um, to Columbus. I know. What's I was going just, on? no, I just, like, did you see the light bulb go bling right there? Because I was just thinking we could have, like, met with people. We still can. Friday night. Possibly, if we, depending on the time we get there and everything. We'll just have I to know, check. I know. Okay. So, I think so we answered. I think, okay, what scents do you usually sample the most? Caramel. Oh, Stonewash denim. Tropical mango. Farmhouse cider. Stress. Yeah, stress. Yeah. Warm apple pie is a good one, too. Um, usually, the, uh, the top ten fragrances. Um, but Stonewash denim is like... One of the most popular. Tropical Mango is a great one. Stress Relief is Turquoise a great one. Turquoise Waters. Yeah, so some of the clean. Yeah. Yeah. And with the new fragrances coming out, I'm sure there'll be ton that I'll want to do from there. Yeah. 
Okay, I think we got the questions answered awesome. up till now. So okay. we're going to go on. So number five was the shut, shut up, up and listen. Okay. Ouch. Number six. I'm deaf now. Okay. Go ahead. Number six, learn to overcome their objection. Okay, so um, you need to find out why they're saying no. So if they said no because um, of timing, it just isn't working for them, then you're going to have to contact them later, okay? If they said no because they don't have money, um, I'd really like to, but I just don't have the money. Well, what can they do? They can, you, they can sell some things. Yeah, they could. We all usually have a bunch of crap we can sell, right? Yeah. Okay, Craigslist is a great place. eBay, they can sell um, a garage sale. They can make, they can do something to get an extra, you know, $100. Um, and then like the months that it's on sale, $74 for the kit. So, um, and if they really, if they really see the opportunity for what it is, how fantastic the pink zebra opportunity is, they'll find a way to get, to get it. Right, right. You know, yep. so that's always a plus. Too. Right. Yeah. And then another way is that um, you can offer to uh, have them do a party and it would be their party. Now, a, a lot of consultants will say, OK, well, you'll have a party and then, you know, I'll keep the sales and then you can keep the commission and then you can join with that. Um, and then I get the host reward since you've got the commission and all that. I think that's a, a I think that's doing a huge disservice for that new team member. So here's what we recommend. If you want to go that route and you want to say, yes, you can have a party to earn your kid, then go ahead, let them have a party. Let it be their launch party. OK, so it's going to be all of their warm market, usually family and friends. It's going to be a five hundred dollar or more party, hopefully, so that that's going to be enough to cover the cover the the uh, basic kit plus tax and shipping, okay? But you're gonna then take that commission and you're gonna then use that to sign them up and then you're gonna put that party order in under their name so that they've now hit their quick start one, they use their warm market and they're good to go for, you know, that a, yeah. a month, so yeah. that's great. Yeah, if you give take it to that, them, give it all yeah, to them. Right, I, I know that you may want the sales, but Having a, a, a new team member that had just hit their quick start and was able to utilize their warm market is more important in the long run um, because what happens is if you take those sales and that was their warm market, um, they may have got a booking from it and they may not have gotten a booking from it, but now they're trying to come up with their $500 quick start one in 30 days and you've just taken away all of their sales from their warm market. So they can't go to the family and friends and say, Hey, you want to buy because they just bought. So and it um, benefits you anyway. Right, right. So that's one way to get around that. Um, there's other ways, um, like we've talked about, but just find out why they're saying no. That's very important. So again, that goes back to listening. You got to listen and see why they're saying no. All right. Um, number seven. Know the career plan. Know the career plan. Know the career plan. You gotta, you gotta know that career plan. The career plan is in the policy. Um, it's also a separate document. They've pulled it out just as a PDF, um, so you can view just the career plan portion of the policy. Or when you open up the policy, you can go into the towards the back of it. It's a career plan. But you have got to know that career plan if you're in this to work and build a business, and you're serious about building the business. You need to see what you have to do in order to promote to the next level and to the next level, and to the next level. So you have got to study and know that career plan. You need to know that when team members come asking you, well, what do I need to do to, to promote? Well, you need to know where they're at and then how to, how to get them to the next level. So, and that's very crucial. So. Yeah, it is. And that's always, well, it's updating quite a bit. In the it? policy manual, they just got done updating yeah, it. Yeah, but yeah. the career plan itself is um, the same. Yeah, they haven't updated the actual I knew that. Plan, so, yeah. I know you did. I did. Okay, let's see if we have any other questions real quick. Um, Lena says, do you carry samples with you in the hot summer months? Well, I always carry the samples in my purse. purse. So Purse goes where she yeah, goes. Yeah, in the summertime, normally... If I if I have samples, which I normally always do, the purse will come in with me. So, yeah, I do. Okay, let's see. Um, so, okay, I don't think there's any other questions. If there is, cool. don't hesitate. Just type them out right there. Okay, so um, number seven was know the career plan. Number eight, 
offer support and training for your team. Mm -hmm. You got to do something for your team. Uh, you can't just let it sit there and expect it to grow. Um, you have to be actively involved in doing something. And if that's just a Facebook page for the group and you're providing a, a forum for interacting, um, then that, that's great. Or you're doing more by being available for one-on-one um, -on -one calls or messaging or emails or whatever it takes. You've got to be able to be there for your team members because they joined up under you. Right. So don't sign them and leave them. Don't do that. I know that if I if you haven't sponsored very many and you're wanting to sponsor some, you know, you would think, well, I would never sign and leave. Well, what happens is is that somebody may join your team that you didn't really ever talk to and they just joined out of the blue. And so by reaching out to them, um, you're just saying basically, hey, here we are, we're here to help. And uh, if you have any questions, then you know, you know where to go. Mm -hmm. um, the now, way that Go yeah. ahead. Well, I was going to say, and they may, you may never hear from them, you know, but at least you know in your mind that you've reached out to, you know, several times to get them and, you know, so yeah. because that happens too. It is. Um, last summer in June of uh, 2013, we had a guy, um, it was a, a man's name, joined our team um, from California, you know, we're in Oklahoma City, joined our team and within a couple of days placed a $700 order. Okay, so met the quick start, placed a huge order. How'd you know it was a guy? It said the first name was John. I would assume that it was a guy. I mean, John. I guess. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, never heard from him. Reached out, emailed, um, phoned, uh, left messages, never heard from him, never placed another order, um, and that was it. And so uh, you you may have things like that, um, and that's that's all that you can do is just reach out um, and that's help so the ones. Weird. It is weird. It's very strange. Um, but you may have people that sign and work it really good, and then stop. And all that you can do is reach out to them and be there for them. Um, obviously, we can't make team members sell. Uh, you can't make them sell. You can only motivate them and kind of you know lead them. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that was number eight. Mm -hmm. Number nine is, you want to take that one? Be excited. Be positive. Be motivating. <laughs> Show the love you have for PZ. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have you ever noticed when I talk, I like sit up and start leaning towards the camera? <laughs> you're on stage. That's what you're doing. Oh, yeah. It's your stage presence. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, okay, so yes, Sorry. be be excited, um, be positive. You've got to have a good attitude. You need to be enthusiastic. We've said this time and time again that if you want people to join your team, yes, they're joining Pink Zebra, but ultimately they're joining you. Okay, so they're gonna they're gonna join you because they like you because they feel comfortable with you they feel secure they think that you're gonna help them um, and they like your attitude I mean attitude is is everything and you've smile. got to smile you've got to smile have, yeah you've got to have a great mm -hmm. um, attitude be enthusiastic um, when you're at those events and um, shows and vendor events don't sit down behind your uh, table stand up the entire time unless there's like no one walking around. Stand up. Do Have not that. talk like this. Yeah, don't Hi, do that. Hi, this is Pink Zebra. Do you want to smell? You know, oh, that's terrible, people. I, I'm always standing there with a jar of sprinkles in my hand. Farmhouse um, cider. Yeah, farmhouse cider is my, our favorite. That's my go-to scent. Me I, too. I use that one a Me lot too. because it works. Or orange stream sickle is a good one too. Yeah, though that one works too. Yeah, um, farmhouse cider is my personal go-to scent. Um, I can usually just sell it to about anybody. But anyways, used I'm standing... to be PZ1. Yeah, PZ1 was a big one, too. I could sell PZ1 to those little old ladies all the time. <laughs> anyways, <one> moving on. <laughs> moving on. Anyways. We have some stories behind Brett's PZ1 sales, but moving on. Okay, anyways. Um, yeah, standing there, being enthusiastic, um, showing the products. You know, you've got to be enthusiastic. So um, show your love for PZ. We all love PZ. I love PZ. I love PZ. Okay. I love it more. Okay. Anyways. I love it the most. This is. Okay. All right. <laughs> Do you want to move? go to this one? Okay. Yes. Sorry. Number, Number 10, 10 
is follow up. Follow up, follow up, follow up with leads, with past customers, with um, people that were interested in joining um, that maybe for whatever reason they haven't joined yet. They said they would join in two weeks and you haven't heard from them. Well, why aren't you calling them yet? You know, um, Ping Zebra may be a huge deal to you and it, they may have just heard about it. It's not a huge deal to them yet. So you've got to create a sense of urgency if there's a, a sign-on bonus or something, an incentive or something like that. Um, or you uh, you just continue to follow up and call. You know, you put them on this list. You know, if you call them and they say, no, I'm not really interested at this time or let me think about it a little bit, um, you're going to call back in maybe a week, okay? Um, until they say, no, stop calling me, you stalker, <laughs> okay until they zebra until they until they say that then you keep calling them and you know you can even ask them is it okay if i follow up with you in four to six weeks and usually they'll say sure mm -hmm. and so just keep them on your list follow up i can't tell you how many people have joined our team because we have followed up with them and uh i know that some of you out there right now have leads and contacts that you need to follow up on so you know this is a uh, Brett and Roxy kind of getting on you right now that follow up on them. Go out, call and, them tomorrow. Well, and many of us, for many of us, it, that's kind of out of our comfort zone. We know we don't like to be bugged and pestered by people, you know. and it's salesmen. Like, yeah, and so you don't want to come across and, well, I don't want to bug them, you know. So to avoid that, just come right out and ask them, you know, would you mind if I emailed you when we had specials? Or if I give you a call whenever there's specials or signups or something that I think you may be interested in, just ask them. And, I mean, that eliminates the whole, you know, well, because then you can say, I, you told me, you know, that you wouldn't mind. So, um, yeah, I know. It, it's kind of, it's awkward. I know. Um, but once you start doing yeah. it, once you get into that, your, your mode of calling and you've got your mm -hmm. list, if you just sit down, you will be through that list and making those calls usually within 15, 20 minutes. Um, and if you get somebody that's really interested, then you may be a little bit longer, but that's what you're going for. Mm -hmm. You're going for that and you want that. And so yeah. they're sitting on your desk or in your computer, in your inbox or wherever is the potential for new team members to join your team this week. Mm -hmm. It's just sitting there. It's waiting for you. And if you're not taking action on it, then you're just letting opportunity just sit there. Would If you had a hundred dollar bill sitting in that folder over there, would you just let it sit there? I don't think so. I think we'd be going and getting it and either putting it in the bank to make money or we go spend it to whatever. Yeah, so I know. You're going to be using that. So use yeah. those. And uh, if it helps, look at it as from solely a business standpoint, you know, put your emotional, oh, I don't want to bug. I don't want to stalk. I don't want to you know, do all no? that. Yeah. What if you put that out of your mind? This is your business. This is what you want to do to make your money. So you need to look at it as your business. You call them up because I guarantee you AT&T or whatever, you know, they're not sitting there saying, well, I don't want to call because I may offend may them or no. they may say no. Heck, they're calling anyways, you know. So um, just look at it from a business. Put the personal right. side of, uh, away if yeah. you can. You know, and you don't have to practice. be annoying. All you have to do is say, hey, Susie Q, um, you know, I'm Brett Weber with Pink Zebra, and I'm uh, just following up to see if you're still interested in possibly joining our team in this amazing company. And uh, hey, you know, we've got a sign-on special for the month of January that's going to end in a couple of days. And, you know, it's $25 off the kit, and it's 50 pink dollars. And you can use those 50 pink dollars when the new catalog comes out on Monday to order new uh, sample testers and new catalogs. And so you're getting the kit at a discount. Are you still interested? That's all you have to do. Um, if you've primarily contacted them through Facebook or um, email or texting, then use that, that, that way of communicating, okay? But if they have given you a phone number, then reach out to them. Um, reach out and touch someone. That's, isn't that that old AT&T? Oh, yeah. Yes, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Roxy. <laughs> yes, it's still... <laughs> you're, Never mind. Anyway, yeah. so let's look and see if we got some questions. But yeah. um, number ten is follow up. So let's uh, 
let's recap it, all of them real quickly. So number one is know the products and the business opportunity. Mm -hmm. Number two is talk to everybody about it, about the PZ, the opportunity. Talk to everybody. Number three was offer many different ways of them finding you, um, doing online or offline with car decals, business cards, um, leaving them at places, or uh, Craigslist ads, advertising on Facebook, um, a blog, YouTube, etc. Mm -hmm. uh, number four, um, actually ask people to join. Ask them to join your team. Don't just assume that the opportunity is there and they know it. Actually ask them. And number five, after you've kind of told them a little bit about the business, um, you need to... Shut up! And listen. <laughs> we love that. Shut up and listen. That's passive aggressiveness. <laughs> Shut up! Listen. No. <laughs> okay. okay, number six is learn to overcome their objections. So find mm -hmm. out why they're saying no and find a way around that. Give them an out. Give them a reason to say yes, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, know the career plan inside and out. Very important. I totally have that down. You do. You do. Number eight, offer support and training for your team. Okay, reach out to them. Um, mm -hmm. Again, you can't make them sell, but you can show that you are here to support them and their business. And so mm -hmm. be there for them. And, um, go ahead. Yeah, and even if they ask you a question and you don't know the answer, it's just like when it's I was okay. teaching. You know, say, you know, I, that's a great question. Let me find out for you. Right. You know, and then ask someone else. Yeah, there's a lot. We don't know everything. I mean, there's lots of times. You don't? You guys will ask us something and <laughs> and we won't know. So we have to, you know, say, yeah, let me check into that. Let me look yeah. into it. So we do that a lot. Um, number nine, be excited and positive. Yeah. Okay. That enthusiasm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let it show through your attitude and the tone of your voice and in your facial expressions. And number 10 was follow up. Okay. Yes. You've got to got to be following up. So mm -hmm. um, that's a huge one right there. And I'm talking about months, months past. If you've got people in your Facebook messages or text messages or email that you have not contacted recently, you've got to be following up with them. And until they say, no, leave me alone, stalker. Okay, that's what. That, <laughs> okay, I haven't actually got that from anyone yet. Um, I've gotten a no, you know, leave me alone. I haven't got the stalker point. Um, but, anyways, follow up with them, okay? And okay. then, um, I guess, kind of a number 11, um, very last thing. So, we said 10 easy tips. Um, here's the number 11 for you is just. Have fun. Have fun. Have fun with it. Because if you're having fun, then that's going to show through and you're going to be able to grow. Um, definitely treat it as a business if you want it business results. Um, that's what we've done. Um, but we've also had fun with it. I mean, I think in the two years that we've been working Pink Zebra, we've probably had more fun together doing this than mm -hmm. the past, what, 17 years of marriage? Is it 17 years? Is it? Yeah. Well, that's, we're old. Oh my gosh. We're so old. <gasps> what did you say? <laughs> Let me turn my hearing aid up, honey. What? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, have fun with it, okay? So um, we're having fun. We're hoping that you're having fun. Okay, okay so we're going to take some yeah, questions. We're 10 minutes over. All right. Let's see questions. here. Um, Okay, I saw one. I'm seeing some. Hold on. You guys had a lot of questions in here, it looks like. How many? Hold on. I'm, I'm going to scroll down to where we left off. Oh. We had a lot of questions. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm here. Can you do something while I'm looking for questions? You know, enter, entertain the masses here. What? <laughs> Me? Okay. Um. What? Oh, I know one thing. When we were cleaning this Saturday, yeah, I wanted to put a new, you know, light out. And so I had a pink liner and I had the copper shade. And I thought, okay, I'm just going to see. And so I put them over each other. I put, you know, and it is awesome. It is an awesome pink. I would show you and move the camera over there, but. It would probably mess. It would probably it, mess. And you wouldn't up. see the quality of it, anyways. Yeah, but it's gorgeous. The copper over the pink liner is gorgeous. Very, very uh, happy with it. Okay, questions. All right. Um, Lisa says, "How many levels deep would you do 
one-on-one -on -one calls or emails with? Well, um, back in when we had access to everyone's email in the old ZebraNet, we could send out like a mass email to the entire downline saying, hey, we've got a team call tonight. Um, and that was great. And we're going to be getting a tool like that back in the new system, um, but we haven't had it. We, we won't have it yet. But They're we working, will. Yeah, we're yeah. working on it. They're working on it. And we're going to have that. So we would send out an email to the entire downline team saying, hey, you know, team call with Roxy and Brett um, tonight and do that and, you know, make it aware. So, hey, shut up and listen. <laughs> There's a call tonight. Be there or be square. Yeah. What does that actually mean? Be there. Okay. okay. Anyway, yeah, I'm there. Um, so that was from Lisa. Okay. Uh, let's see. How do we weave? Weed out the ones who really want to go somewhere. Okay. Um, Letty says, "How do I weed out the ones who really want to go somewhere versus those who just want to waste time?" Well, the sad thing is, is that you never know who's going to be the ones that really want to go somewhere versus the ones that are kind of going to just waste your time. Um, you don't know that. In the beginning, they may start out really strong, and then for whatever reason, they stop working the business. So um, you really don't know. And once you once you get to a point in your team and you have the ones that are working it, it it'll they'll weed themselves out. Yeah. That will. They'll will weed themselves out because they're either going to work their business or they're not. And you can't make them work it. So you just have to work with the ones that are working it and the ones that aren't just offer your support and help and say, Hey, I'm here for you. When and if you ever want to start working your business again, I can help you, but you can't make them do it. Um, you can offer incentives, um, but we've found that offering incentives will usually just get the ones that were working it anyways. They are the ones that are going to get the incentives. And so the ones that you really, um, aren't doing anything and uh, not working their business, they're not really going to go for the incentive. That's what we've found. Um, the best thing to do is to work with the ones that are working it and to keep on sponsoring. So at last year's reunion, Mary Christensen said, no problem that you have in your team, on your organization, your business, um, nothing can't be solved by sponsoring. So in other words, keep on sponsoring. Everything can be solved by sponsoring. And so, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, question on that. My upline is monthly meeting. Great. Um, doesn't seem to work out for me. It's okay for my recruits and team to meet as well for direct training with. Um, so Charlotte is asking that her upline has training on monthly. Um, is it okay for all my team members to meet as well for training with them? Um, yeah, sure. Um, if that, I mean, you're not, you're not anybody's boss. And so, uh, you can't make anybody not go to the upline and that's what the upline's there for. And so we should all be looking at this is that, um, it's all a team effort. And so mm -hmm. if they go upline, don't take it personally. There may just be a personality mismatch and that's okay. Sometimes that's okay. Um, just know that they're still on your downline and any sales that they, they do or any team building that they do is going to benefit you in the end. Mm -hmm. So, um, whether they get the help from you or your, your sponsor, the upline, um, at least they're getting help and they're working their business. So, uh, let's see here. How many vendor events should I focus on? Okay, another question is, how many vendor events should I focus on per month, or what's the best way to get a customer base? Wow, um, you know, Roxy and I, we built our business on uh, vendor events mm -hmm. and using the internet, online tools. And that first year in 2012, we probably did about 40 shows from January until March of 13. Uh, 40 shows, okay? That's probably about one every other weekend or something like It was crazy how many yeah. shows we did. Now, we were in it because we saw the opportunity and we worked our butts off for it. I mean, it was hard. It was There was times when we barely had gas to drive to the stinking event. Um, there was times when uh, we didn't even have the money to pay for the, the, the booth fee until we got there and hoping that we'd have sales to pay for it. I mean... <laughs> That's some scary stuff, you know. <laughs> or like, we had gas we, to get there, we but we didn't sprinkles. have gas we, we to get made, home. <laughs> right, right. We were going to maybe have to yeah. barter with sprinkles or something, but yeah. um, you just um, do what you have to do, you know. The Lord looks out for you. Right, right. Um, but yeah, I mean, whatever you want to do, uh, we encourage you to do as many um, events as you can. But also remember this, okay? You do the events to get contacts 
and to get new team members. You don't do the events to, to really get sales and make a lot of money. Some people say, oh, well, I'm going to do these events. I didn't make any money. Well, that's not the point of the event. Mm -hmm. Doing the event is to get the contacts and get the leads and then the customers and the potential signups. Get and your name out there. If you can make yeah. your booth feedback, that's great. If you make $1,000 in sales, that's great. But the point is, is that you're just getting your name out there. The parties, doing parties is where your best return on your investment is because you go into that party for two hours, you can come out of there with $500 to $1,000 sales in two hours. That would be awesome. That's $125 to $250, you know, um, for those two hours. That's that's where your money is. Yep. But building the business, you can also do at parties, and lots of people do. And so that that's a great way as well. But we we it's just did yeah, it. kind of it's however whatever whatever you're works comfortable with. With you, yeah. uh, fingers crossed for the new catalog. Um, yeah, we're so excited for the new catalog. Uh, very very exciting. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Dawn says, I still hate, hate, hate making calls, but I'm working on it. Uh, what time do you recommend calling? During the day, evening, other? Um, it kind of depends on our little contact forms that we have at shows and stuff. We'll ask them best time to call and have them circle, you know, morning, you know, afternoon or evening time. And uh, then you can call then. If not, just call um, either usually mid-morning um, works great, um, mid-afternoon. If they're at work, it'll go to voicemail or they'll pick up the phone and say, you know, I'm at work right now, I can't talk, I can talk later, and they'll let you know. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Uh, Sensi is our competitor. How to answer when people want their sense in our sprinkles? Um, so one thing that we've done, and if you work, um, do enough parties and events, you'll come to know the fragrances and you'll be able to, <laughs> it's weird because our you can, fragrances, our fragrances, our you'll fragrances. know the pink zebra fragrances, you'll know the mm -hmm. each scent. And then when you have a customer and they say, well, I actually have this scentsy, um, brick block, whatever yeah, cubes here. Yeah. Can you match that? You may be able to smell that and say, well, you know, that kind of smells like it has a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And we've actually matched up um, Scentsy um, yeah. customers, um, their scent with Pink Zebra scents by combining and creating a scent that is um, a better fit for them or they like it better. So, And then we've had some like, oh, yeah, I like the cupcake scent, you know, and Scentsy. And so we're like, well, we're not sure what's in that. Here's one that kind of smells similar to a cupcake, you know, and... You know, and sometimes they love it and sometimes they're like, no, and there's nothing you can do. It's just like, okay, you know. Um, Charlotte says get a Scentsy catalog and each scent has a description, match it up to Pink Zebra. You could do that as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think having a Scentsy catalog is awesome, you know, and even a uh, party light and... Gold Canyon, maybe? Gold Canyon, yeah. Just things. to see what they have because yeah, I mean, you yeah. are... You are it gonna is your get business. That, you are going to get that question of, mm -hmm. well, do you have this or how, how do you compare to this mm -hmm. company and all that stuff? Mm -hmm. You are going to have that. So, um, you know, you can have yeah. that on hand. And guys, just because, I mean, they're, just because Cincy is our competitor and Party Lights, I guess, our competitor, they still have amazing things. Their, their warmers and some things are so cute. And so... We uh, never bash, bash or bad mouth any of them when somebody is asking us because they, I mean, they've got great things too. And so, and, you know, I've got some Scentsy warmers, you know, I haven't gotten one since I joined Pink Zebra, but, um, you know, they're, they're still a great, great company. And so all of them are. So just kind of watch that, you know, whenever you're, if you feel the same as we do. Uh, let me see. Um, I think that's it. If you have okay. a question, yeah. um, feel free to uh, message us or put it in the Facebook mm -hmm. group. But uh, I think we've answered all your questions. Uh, this has been a fun one. We love doing these live video calls. Uh, we love interacting with you guys. Uh, we wish that we could see your faces too. I but know. Uh, we get to see your little um profile pictures and uh -huh. you're there in spirit and you're there uh -huh. typing away so it, great it's great questions fun. too there were some really great yeah. questions yeah, yeah. Hmm. grace so, says i don't think we have a competitor we have number one yeah. we are it, it's amazing the, true, true. i tell people that if you can just get the fragrances and the products in front of people it will sell the products sell uh -huh. themselves 
And I hate to say that because it sounds cliche, but it's a truth. Yeah. I mean, all you have to do is get it in front of people and it will sell. I guarantee it. I guarantee mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, so I guess next time we talk, <clears throat> we'll have the new catalog oh, yeah. in front of us, and Rally is going to be amazing. I am so, so excited. Aren't you excited? Yes, I'm very excited. And, it's going to be uh, awesome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what Tom and Kelly have, it's, they're amazing people, and this company is amazing, and what they do for us is amazing, and, and they just, they have very, the sweetest hearts, and yeah, yeah, it is. I'm so proud to be part of this company, and I hope you are too, so um, enjoy the rallies this weekend, and um, after it's over, we will be burning up Facebook page on, <laughs> oh, I like this, oh, I like this, you know, that type of stuff. I love all that talk and generating right. and, and things, and boy, well, after kind of a hard January, we're ready for the new catalog we're ready for sales and all that kind of stuff so january's been hard february's going to be awesome with the new catalog yeah those yeah. of you that aren't able to make it to a rally um don't worry about it um i'm sure oh, yeah, yeah. saturday afternoon uh facebook is going to blow up after the rallies are over mm -hmm. with pictures and uh everything so you know you can kind of live through your fellow consultants and team members here mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. and then you'd be able to and then see february the third yeah, it was just monday so the yeah. week from today yeah all right Yay! okay all right okay guys. so um thanks for calling and yeah. as always sprinkle on yep and peasy out bye